Hi everybody, today I wanted to share with you a couple fixes that I had to make in order to get the drawer component from the Shadzian UI library to work on my mobile device. Now, if I try using the example on the website, it works fine. However, since I'm on my desktop, I can't really feel what it feels like on my phone. So then when I tried implementing it on one of our side projects, it was giving me some weird issues. And let me share with you what I'm talking about. So here's a simple project that I put together to recreate the issues that I was coming across and to show you what I'm talking about. As you can see on the left hand side, I am using an iPhone simulator. You can use that as well to test how your app acts like on a mobile device. You just open up Xcode and go to simulators and select one and then you could just type localhost and it should show you your web app on a mobile device. So that's one quick tip for you if you have a Mac. So anyways, let's go ahead and open up page. So here's what page looks like. As you can see, we got our main and we got our people span and our drawer. So this is what this page is right now, as you can see. And then we have our drawer components and our button, which is add person. And then you can see our drawer has this title in it with this form that's being passed to it. Now this form is within the components folder. Now if we go here, it's just a basic form. The format is based off of the form component in the Shadzian UI library. So you could check that out, but we just got our imports. We got our form schema. You can see we got our form itself. We initialize it there and we got our submit function with the form right here in our input fields. And now if we try opening up that drawer, you'll see what I am talking about. We click it and then it automatically zooms in. So this is not the functionality that we want from our drawer. And then if I try closing the drawer, what happens is, is, is that it stays zoom in. So we don't want that to happen. So let's go ahead and refresh our local host. The first thing we need to do is go inside our form. So if you have any form or any items within that drawer component, you want to make sure that the size of the input fields that the text is at least 16 pixels. So you might have to add that in. So if you go ahead and go here, just type text MD has to be either 16 pixels or less. So we could copy that. We, could, we need to do that for the last name and then also for this section right here for text area. So that should fix our zooming in issue. That's the first fix. So let's go ahead and open it up. And as you can see, it doesn't zoom in anymore. And when we, when we click on it, then it lets us type it in. However, now you can see this drawer fills up the whole entire screen. Let's say we want a little space between our actual app and our drawer, which is not showing here. We need to make sure that we set the max height of the actual drawer. So we would have to go within the drawer component which we got from the Shadzian UI library. We have to go within here. And then we have to go inside the drawer content section. And right here, you can put it in wherever. Let's set a max height of, let's say, 97%. Now you can see we have a little gap at the top that represents that this is a drawer. Now it actually looks like a drawer. However, when we try accessing the save button, it's no longer accessible because we set our max height to 97%. So that's the second fix, adding this max height of 97%. And you could change it to whatever you want it to be. If you want there to be less, you can do that. So there's a bigger gap if you want. Um, we can leave it at that. And then after that, the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the content within here is scrollable. So that means we want to scroll this if it exceeds a specific height. And how we do that is we need to go back to our page and find wherever our form is. Our form is right here. And then we want to go ahead and import a scroll area that we got from Shatian. And then we want to wrap that around here. And now when we wrap that, you're going to see that that's not enough. We have to add one more thing to the scroll area. We want to make sure that if there's an overflow, we want there to be a scroll. So let's see now if we try scrolling, you can see now we can access that save button that's on the bottom. Now, if you try saving it, it's not going to work because we have to input, input our field. So let's just put something in there. And if you try, try pressing save, it doesn't close. Now, the fourth thing we need to do is we need to create a variable called show sheet or whatever you want to call it. And then also one that's called set show sheet, just like that. And then we also need to import use state. Now, once we have that, we are going to need to be able to access whether the sheet is open or closed within our form. Because when we press the save button, we 
want our form to close and there's no way to do that from the drawer without passing a component first. So we want to make sure that that drawer has the same access to open and close it. So we have some parameters that we could set it. We're going to set the open to show sheet and on open change to set show sheet. And then we also want to add a variable to add person form which is going to be called set show sheet like that. Now we don't necessarily need to pass in show sheet because all we need the form to control is whether the sheet is open or not. And we can go back to our form. We need to add that parameter within our form right here. We could just do this. We want it to be set to this since we are using TypeScript. And then in our on submit, right? We want to close the sheet. So when we submit the information right now, I'm saving it uh, in local storage as an example. And then we are going to then reset the form and then we're then going to close the sheet. So now if I try opening up the sheet, typing in whatever information going down, pressing save, now it should close. And the last thing we can update just as a addition, if you want to, you can go here. Let's say we want to show the data that was stored in local storage. We could go ahead and add this. So as you can see, I am importing the, the type of person data. I'm exporting that form schema right here and I'm importing it into here to then create a variable called person data. And then we're going to use this to store our information, our loaded data from local storage. You could see in our form, we are saving this JSON data as person data. We are setting it here and then we want to reference it here at, at the get item and save it within our person data. And then right underneath our div. So within this page, I had to make sure that I had the card component from Shatzian and trash. I am using the icon library lucid react. And then now, as you can see that data is being displayed. If I delete this, it will say no people are added because then that person data doesn't exist. So this is just extra stuff, you know, you can do just to show you that how this form works. And those are the things that I had to add in order to get drawer to work on my mobile device for Shad CN. And that's it. Okay. Thank you guys until next time.